Okay, hi, you're watching Greg's Big Eats, and um, I'm here back at Lai Hing Mushroom Mince Meat Noodle, the Bio Lorong 4, for a short vlog to talk specifically about the soupy version of their incredibly popular bak chor mee. So, context is now 7.50 or so on a Monday, and uh, I've already placed my order for bak chor mee soup, $6, and I am number 8 on the queue. So, we just have to wait. Eight. Okay, I have my $6 order of bak chor mee soup But a, first, a bit of a backstory um, I've eaten at Lai Heng for all my life lah. Maybe half my life or so That's about 20 years, you know But for some reason, I've only chosen to eat the dry version of the dish And my logic back then, and I sort of like stuck with it Is that I get soup on the side, right? So I get best of both worlds so I'll know what the dry version tastes like and I'll know what the soup version tastes like as well. Makes sense, right? But oh my goodness, how wrong I was. When I posted my initial vlog review on Lai Heng, there were quite a number of YouTube comments saying that it is actually the stall soup version which is actually the highlight here. So a week or two after the vlog, I visited Lai Heng and ordered the soup version to try it and wow, the comments were right. It is equally as good as the dry version, if not better. And it was so good that I decided to actually do a short vlog on it. So as I said, I ordered the bak chor mee soup with kuih tiao. It's actually served with the thinner kuih tiao. But first, I'll try the soup. Oh my god. And this is the key here, the soup is amazing. It is considerably more robust and flavorful as compared to the soup on the side that you get when you order the dry version. And that's not usually the case from my experience with bak chor mee stalls. The soup here is rounded with lots of stock flavor, it's a pork bone based broth and it's enhanced with dried seaweed, a hint of tea bowl, dried sawfish, lots of sliced braised mushrooms. Then the meat is reasonably soft. The liver, I mean, you have to eat it quick as usual because otherwise it will just go hard. Lah, you know? Then you've got some wonderful crunchy pork lard on top. Mm. That gives it a lovely oil richness. Pork fat flavor and oil richness, wonderful. You don't have to actually order kuih tiao, although a lot of people do. You can order it with normal yellow noodles. Lah. I mean, I love this dish, but I have to admit that it may be a little light on the savouriness for some. So feel free to add a bit of soy sauce lah, to boost the flavour a bit. A bit of kuih tiao, a bit of meat, and that wonderful pork lard on top. And some seaweed. And soup, of course. Wonderful. Okay, finished. No, I love this dish. It's amazing. So that was a short update on Lai Heng Mushroom Minch Meat Noodle about the soupy version of their bak chor mee. So as far as I'm concerned, this really is their best dish. Lah. I think that their soup version actually edges out their dry version just a little bit because it is so compelling. So next time, if you're at Lai Heng and you always order the dry bak chor mee or you're someone who always orders dry bak chor mee by default, like what I do most of the time, I would say order their soupy version for a change. I think that you will be more than pleasantly surprised. So, thanks for watching another short update from Greg's Beat Eats, where I eat through the whole of Singapore. If you like this content, do feel to like, subscribe, and comment below, and turn on the notifications bell, and I'll see you in the next one for more eating. Bye-bye.